with feathers and a pointy beak and beady eyes with wings. Said that one. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone and welcome to Story Time with Liz. I hope you're well. Today we're going to be reading this wonderful book, and this book is called How to Spot a Dinosaur, and it's by Susie Senior and Dan Taylor. But first, let's head over to the blurb to find out what the book is about. Come on. We're off to find a dinosaur. They can't be hard to spot. They really big and stomp around. We'll probably find a lot. Join two little dino fans determined to find some dinosaurs in the park. They're in luck. There's a triceratops just behind that bush. Or is there? Shall we go and read the story? Come on then. How to spot a dinosaur We're off to find a dinosaur They can't be hard to spot They really big and stomp around We'll probably find a lot I've got some big binoculars My sister's brought a book It's full of super dino facts We'll know just where to look you see, we found one straight away, right there behind the swings, with feathers and a pointy beak and beady eyes and wings. An overraptor eating chips, but whoa, it's much too small. It's just a cheeky pigeon, not a dinosaur at all. So off we creep across the grass. Quick, that's one over there. A frilly head with zigzag spikes behind that stripy chair. It must be a triceratops. But no, hang on, what's that? It's got a bunch of flowers on. It's just a fancy hat. We've got to find a dinosaur. Come on, it's not too late. A Spinosaurus near the pier. A T-Rex by the gate. A Stegosaurus in the loose, or look behind that tree. There's something huge and curved and grey. Woohoo! It has to be a Brontosaurus bottom. Yes, a dinosaur at last. We better get right over there and take a photo fast. But what? No stompy feet and claws? No great long neck and tail? It's just a wagon selling snacks. Oh, let's give up, I wail. These dinosaurs aren't anywhere. My sister starts to cry. Wait, dinosaurs, the snack man says. I know just where to try. He gives us both a lolly and he tells us where to go. We find a great big building. No dinos yet, but oh, I think that's an Iguanodon. Look, Ankylosaurus too. A Diplodocus, wow, that's big. And Scholosaurus, ooh. Velociraptors in the tree. And what's behind that door? Oh no, Tyrannosaurus Rex. It gives a mighty roar. Its giant head comes snapping round. Its eyes are wild and mean. I think it might be hungry, and I think we've just been seen. <gasps> ah, help! We found a dinosaur. We'd better run away. We scramble out past ropes and signs for dinosaur display. And then it all makes much more sense. We won't get eaten. 
Phew! We have some cake to celebrate and then some milkshakes too. Then after that, we take a tour around the massive hall. We came to find a dinosaur, but hey, we found them all! We've had the most amazing day and now it's time to go. We won't look out for dinosaurs, they're all extinct, we know. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that Dinotastic book, and I hope you join me next time when we read some more amazing books. In the meantime, stay tuned to find out how you can help. Hello everyone, if you enjoyed that book and you would like to purchase yourself a copy, the links will be in the descriptions below along with all my socials. And if you would like your book read on my show, that's where you'll find all the information to contact me. Thanks guys, bye! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and if you would like to see more of my content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks guys!